Jeremy, in previous uh, questions, we touched base the networking part, but I want to ask you also in terms of networking, especially here in Vancouver, it's a very small community. My, I got my first job through network, through networking. I know someone who knew someone and there was a job offer and then yeah. I, got the, you know, I got the interview, I didn't get the job. But what tips do you have for people who are new immigrants or introverts who are not used to going out and kind of selling yourself but at the same time you're you're curious about the other person you're not just going to go there and tell them hire me so you know there's there's a lot of things going on what, what tips do you have to people uh, it's it's an important question for sure um and not everyone's programmed the same way are they some people are more extroverted some people are more introverted uh, so networking can feel a little bit different depending on your your natural orientation. I, I think probably the the number one thing that comes to mind is is a a willingness mm. to get uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if you're now when people think about networking, I think the first thing that probably comes to mind is a room full of people yeah. where you're walking in and handing out business cards and trying to schmooze. That's one. That's one way of networking. Yeah. But what you're doing, Mahara, right now is networking as well. Yeah. It's, the, it's the willingness to go out to somebody. We talked about that earlier, earlier in terms of following, out, following up rather after you send a resume. Yeah. That's a form of networking. Utilizing social media, there's lots and lots written about that. But the human skill, being able to make a human connection, if you're only going into that with the objective of, will you hire me, you're, you're missing the point. It need, I think, again, time perspective, right? The longer your time perspective, because the value of your network should compound. So don't just network when you're looking for a job. Network for the value of your career over a long period of time. And if you're willing to go out to people, work to create value, that people will feel that. You, you can't be, you have to be genuine. You have to be authentic in your networking efforts. So but get involved. I mean, join your, whatever your profession is, mm -hmm. the first place I would start is probably with your industry association. Yeah. So if you're an HR, get involved with the HR association. If you're in accounting and finance, it's CPA Canada. If it's supply chain, get, get involved with supply chain council or uh, Apex or, or something. From there, you're going to meet people. Uh, and it's those relationships that will add that value. I, I, I think that's probably a good place to start. And I always tell people that have a curiosity in mind whenever you're meeting person. So listen to them. And uh, always, whenever I go personally, my intent is at least two or three new people to meet. And just, you know, introduction, I'm here, uh, I came here to learn what's your intent? What, what do you want to get out of this? So that kind of you break the ice and then, these days, all of them are on LinkedIn. So I feel that just add me on LinkedIn. That's what people are saying. LinkedIn yeah, is becoming yeah. kind of a business card and everyone is doing that. So that's what I give my tip is that have a curiosity mind, have an intent to go at least meet new people because sometimes we are to, uh, you know, want to meet to the same people that we know. But as uh, to your point, we should be a little bit uncomfortable, meet new people. And that's the aim of networking, new people and building relationships. Yeah, and I, I think be willing to follow up. Yes. So let's 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 say that you and I had never talked before, and we were at a uh, a, a, a board of trade event or something like that. Yeah. Be be willing to follow up. Send that note on LinkedIn, and then say, "Hey, it's nice to meet you. Feel free to be in touch." Yes, that's important for sure. And for thank you for that tip, Jeremy. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of networking, please leave it in the comment section. And tune in next time for my final question with Jeremy.